is marked of 76.06 percent this is a this is the total is percentage recorded in the parliamentary election this time in north goa the polling percentage was 77.69 and whereas in south goa it is 70.74.47 so in all total goa state average polling percentage is 76.06 percent it is not included the postal ballot data and the home voting data so it may be little bit more when we will add all those figures in this exit data here so by this data we can say however we are not able to touch the 80% data but still we cross the exit figure of 2019 polling here that was around 75% but we have crossed the figure of 75 and this time successful from the voters point of view we got full support and we see almost 76.06% so this is the exact figure still in two constituencies uh, there are some figures so estimated data is like this whenever the data will be finalized we will provide you the exact data we received some complaints yesterday also and in some cases uh, we have to see complaints about Uh, one of the candidate that also we have uh, asked for a factual report from the field. In some other cases, in all total, we have received out of uh, total complaints which we received yesterday, 19 uh, cases. In all such cases, uh, we have these complaints on the poll day. We ask for a factual report immediately and try to get the proper action in time. So these are the. case for on yesterday otherwise the polling activities were totally smooth and peaceful there were no such incidents reported of any type of violence or any sort of any intimidation to the voters over such complaints which we received from the districts these are marked to both the district collectors to examine at their level and send a report immediately now in cases uh, of public complaints we received in all total 190 complaints 26 eci referred ngpsp tapal and 1950 all these complaints have been disposed properly few complaints are under process these are other than those complaints which are for mcc violation mcc violation total complaints we received 38 out of which 36 have been disposed only two cases are in the process in which we require some reports from the field these are the complaints by the public like on c vigil citizen vigil our app where we have disposed almost 114 cases out of 122 cases within 100 and 100 minutes which is as per the guidelines of ECI 1950 the control room complaints total received 15 all 15 have been disposed NGSP we have received 215 out of which only 69 were pending other 185 have been disposed so those cases which are pending may be not directly related to election that's why these are referred to the concerned department to examine and send a report immediately so that many places voters complain about in delivery link getting banished yeah we received three complaints in this regard and we want to pass you a message that we purchased some maso pads which is uh, eci certified and these complaints uh, we immediately forwarded to our dios to examine from the fit so whatever reports we will receive after this thorough check we will immediately forward to commission to get it but by they replaced the coming bottle no maybe one or two cases we only receive complaints from field area so we have to examine those cases otherwise we do not receive such complaints in a big number so only two or three particular cases and we have asked for a field report about these particular persons 
the polling day you said you received 19 complaints. 19 so complaints. All were against candidates or? I mean all 19 complaints we have attended properly. Yes. That I put. Were they against candidates? Contested? No, only one such complaint was regarding the uh, candidate of South Goa who was voted in the Punjab area. So that was the a single complaint which was directly addressed to the candidate. Right. Others are like uh, you can see like this in the labor in some complaint regarding the t-shirt wearing with some particular name by appealing to the voters or distribution of key. These are the complaints which we receive. So all these complaints were immediately attended and our teams were on the job immediately after receiving these complaints. The mobile phone was not allowed in the booth. Yeah. There was one case where uh, uh, the voter clicked a photo of the phone and posted it up. Something. That complaint from South Goa we have yeah, received in which one particular person, uh, they mentioned about one lady per yeah, voter correct. who has done this and immediately that person was handed over to police department also for necessary action. So uh, we asked for a report in this particular case because this lady uh, wore a weld uh, dress there. So what was the actual status, whether that photo was taken by that lady or not and what police has taken action, we are asking for a report in this particular case. So if person came to a meeting from the hotel, mm -hmm. uh, we received only one complaint in which we found that one person's name was not there. Uh, this time we uh, almost follow all the exercises on time. Intimated people also on daily basis and from September onwards we were on our e-roll purification exercise in proper coordination with ECI directions. So maybe one or two such cases we receive during the day of poll. We will check all those cases over we are taking full care from our side but maybe either they were missing during that process because we found that these people who are actually coming from outside and uh, try to cast their vote but their names were either deleted or they are not eligible for that thing. So let us do this exercise. Few also, Goans also missing. Few eight names of Goans are also missing. Boot number 12. Uh, we have to check the particular cases because otherwise we are taking almost all care. The summary division exercise is started from September month until January 5th when we uh, come with our final publication during this three to four months. We conducted whole exercise with house to house survey by our BLOs first from the month of July onwards. So see, if one exercise which was thoroughly monitored by our Labor Election Commission of India, we are following online measures as well as offline measures continuously covering by the media, fully monitored by our all officials. How it is possible that we intentionally do something? So there was no such intention, maybe because of some reason. If these people were coming from out or if they left intentionally, they do not, didn't take part in the process. So let us check this time. Sir, interestingly, that BLO is staying their neighborhood. So definitely we will check this case properly. Many votes, uh, they are uh, stuck in transfer. So what is the maximum period for, um, for the transfer procedure? From one part to another part, if I want to transfer my vote, then? I can't get Yeah, uh, my, my, I am enrolled in one part of the Goa, so okay. I want to transfer uh, my vote from Panjim, from my village. Okay. So this, in this transfer procedure, many votes stuck in and they couldn't um, vote yesterday. So what is the maximum time for this transfer procedure? See, uh, there is specific guideline in this regard where we have form 8 is there. So if they fill the form, then we have to dispose all these such cases. So there are no such cases pending with us. Yeah. But after after election, this process is once over. We will definitely examine all these cases with the help of our uh, field official. We will check where uh, any type of shortcomings that are the level of our VLOs or we require some more visit from our side. Sir, how many complaints of EMI function in the voting During a uh, mock poll, total EVMs, we place the figure is 53. 
13 BU, 6 CU and VT 34. Whereas in the actual poll, the replace figure is 49 over the machine's link is 33. This, During, this, uh, During this whole process from 16th March, once uh, model code of conduct comes into picture, uh, the C's figure is 17.82 crore. So this time, it is the highest one. 17. 17. Yeah, 17 crore, 82 lakh, and uh, in which uh, liquor around 5 crore, cash seizure, by IT department is 4.6 crore and uh, by other department like police 4.64 crore cash. So in all total with all liquor, cash and drugs uh, 0.54 crore by NCB, 2.58 crore by police department. So the actual figure is around 17 crore and 82 lakh. It is almost uh, 40% higher than what we see in 2022, assembly election two years back, and 55% more than in 2019, what we see during that 2019. Okay, we will provide you the details, 17.82 crore, and uh, in 2019 Lok Sabha it was 11.5, whereas in 22 assembly election it was 12.72 crore. Yeah. It is in process now. So, 12,416 total issued, 11,150. So, maybe in next one day, we will provide you the data actually. Can you tell me the number of voters who were out of 11.79 who were registered? What was the poll? Now, total number of polling or voters who polled? Voted. Eleven point seventy nine were total voters who were eligible for eleven lakh seventy nine. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Total number of uh, voters, no? It is in North Goa, four lakh fifty one thousand forty two, seventy seven point six nine. South Goa, four lakh forty five thousand nine hundred and sixty. In all total. It is 8,96,958. So if you add this uh, 11,115 figure of postal ballot and home voting, then it will come around 9,8,073, which will be around 76.99 percent. <coughs> uh, yeah, highest. No, no, highest in, in our case. In the past elections, if we compare the figure, this time it is the highest one. 